Today is the final day of classes of this semester. This is Vlog 2, Chapter 1. So I just finished my Zoom meeting and I took a shower and I don't know what else to do so I'm gonna go grab some food. As you can see, we went to Wendy's. Wendy's brought back spicy chicken nuggets. I don't know when they brought them back, but I used to love these things, man. These things were so freaking delicious, and then they were just like, bye. So I finished eating my Wendy's, and it wasn't amazing. It, it wasn't bad, though. It was average, I guess. I honestly don't have much planned for the rest of the today. I got two homework assignments due tomorrow, and I also have one more assignment due on Friday. And then I have my finals. So really, I just kind of need to study for my finals. I also want to call my mom and my sister just to say hey to them. So that's really all I got planned for the rest of today. Might have to tell a story. So, I'm here at this park. It's more of a playground, if anything. But the other day I came here with one of my high school friends. So I was editing the vlog, and during the middle of the story time, I guess I hit the stop record button, and so I just cut myself off in the middle of the story. So now I gotta finish it here. So, what I was saying was, me and a friend went to that park, not for the park, but for the basketball court and going back before actually getting there when we met at Walmart and we got we bought a basketball and then on the way to the park we stopped at McDonald's and got some food. We went to the park and ate the food and then we played a game of horse. I used to play basketball. I played for four or five years something like that. I haven't played since my sophomore year in high school so that has been four almost five years that I have not played and I suck. I still won the horse game but I mean oh my god. I'm legit trash at the game now. A horse game should take 20 minutes maybe, 20, 25 minutes. Our game probably took like 40, 50 minutes because we both were complete trash and kept missing shots. But I won, he had horse, I had H-O-R-S, story time, complete. just woke up and it is eleven AM. Now I didn't vlog yesterday because I was mainly doing homework and when I finished doing all my homework assignments, it was like eight eight PM I think. And I really, really wish I did not do them yesterday. Because yesterday it was nice. It was sunny it was warm outside and now today it's rainy and now i'm stuck inside but i do have one more assignment to finish i just gotta revise it add a little bit more to it but i'm gonna shower first because i feel extremely nasty Just got out the shower. I'm about to finish this assignment and then send out a few emails. I just finished my assignment and I wanted to talk a little about it. So it was a science research. Hello, hello. Science research paper uh, on ocean acidification. And I chose this topic because I'm like extremely interested in ocean acidification and what it does to the ocean, its organisms, and how it affects us humans and everything. And so that's why I chose this topic. And going way back to last semester, so when I first learned about it, uh, I was in the beginning environmental science class. It was like the intro course you had to take it to go to other classes 
uh, in environmental science and at the end of the year, no not the end of the year, but at the end of the semester, we had two more topics left. One being about the ocean, the other being about the land. And our professor was like, since we only have time for one, you guys can choose. And me loving to learn about the ocean and the creatures that live in it and stuff, I chose the ocean. And the majority of the class, I think it was like 83%, something around like that, chose the ocean. We ended up learning about ocean acidification during that time. Ever since then, I've just been like extremely interested in it. And so this semester, when we had this final project that started back in March, it's now April and it's due the first day of May, uh, I got this chance to choose my topic and I asked my professor if ocean acidification was too broad or if that was a fine topic. And he said, yeah, go for it. So I chose ocean acidification and now that this project is coming to an end, this semester is coming to an end, I'm going to have my summer free. I mean, I'm going to have a job, but I mean, I don't want to just sit around and play video games non-stop. I mean, I plan on vlogging, but I mean, I need it. I want to do something like I've ordered some stuff online, uh, but with this ocean acidification in my brain right now, I wanted to start another art project because I don't have any art projects to do anymore. I finished my art class. So I was thinking, I wanted to do something that talks about the ocean and the problems that it has because of humans and what we have done to, <clears throat> like, ruin it. So I wanted to, like, do something based off of a sort of ocean acidification. And last night I was lying in bed thinking about what I could do. And I finally came up with an idea. My idea was to have, like... I think I want to do it on a piece of wood. Not 100% sure yet, but... So, I think what I want to draw is a coral reef and have it, like, split level so you can see above the ocean. You can see, like, where the water is. And you can see underneath the ocean. Underneath the ocean, got fish and coral. But then I want it split kind of, like, diagonal up the middle. Not, like, completely, like, corner to corner, but, like, more towards the middle. But I don't want it to just be cut off with, like, a black line. I want to be cut off with like bubbles to make it like a smoother transition and I want one side to be all nice and beautiful filled with marine life and everything and then I want the other side to have coral bleaching not a lot of fish the corals white I want like the point to be subtle but I still want it to get the point across like hey ocean acidification it's a problem let's do something about it then I also want it to be a decent art piece and not just have the words us humans are up and we need to stop ruining the earth and the ocean that is what i want to do for my art project starting next week uh it is supposed to rain all day and that's not good because i wanted to go to the store and get art supplies for this i mean i have some art supplies but i don't have a piece of wood I don't have paint. If I do it on wood, I'm gonna have to paint it. I'm not a huge fan of painting. Uh, I was thinking about putting it on paper first, see what it looks like, and then transfer it over. Like, sketch it on paper, and then put the paper on top of the wood and kind of like press down on it kind of hard so I don't mess up the wood. Uh, I'm, I might look to see if there's any other options to paint for wood because I, I just hate paint, man. I don't, I don't hate painting. It's just that I suck at painting. And things I suck at... I usually don't like. It's the first day of May. And you know what that means? It's my birth month. And the first of May. I just went to Walmart to look at their art supplies. And I'm not buying from Walmart to get art supplies. So I'm here at... Michael's Because this is a art store, so I mean I should have some good stuff So I just got out of Michael's and I waited outside for probably 20 minutes and then I was inside for another like 20 minutes. So I was in total at Michael's for 40 minutes and I also spent $50 which I was not expecting but what I did get I Got God dang. Come on now Stop get off there we go. Got this piece of wood. This is what I'm gonna put my 
ocean acidification project on. And then I got a whole bunch of these little colors. I got black, pink, blue. Uh, they are oil-based colors. And then I also got some painter's tape just so I can mark off the edges and have that be white or black. I'm going to figure that out later. I just remember from Tuesday's part of this vlog. Was it Tuesday? It might have been Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. I went to a park to go eat my lunch and also told a story about basketball. Uh, on the way there, when I was driving there, there's this nice old antique car for sale. And I want to go back there and just look at the car. Not to buy it or anything. I mean, I wouldn't mind having that car because I mean, it looked pretty nice. But all I did was drive by. I didn't actually stop and look at it. So I want to stop and look at it this time. All right, little update. I drove by the place where the car was, and it was gone. So, we don't get to look at a car.